All right, I've got the the head here primed and looks like she's all ready to paint. I have this pinned so that when I'm I'm airbrushing my my flesh tones on the head and in this neck area when I'm doing highlighting and shading and just overall color because I paint in layers um, that way it will all match. I thought about just attaching the head but painting the face details will be difficult that way. I tend to turn kits a lot. I don't don't want to get going and then have the head just fall off here but uh, it should work. Uh, we'll go ahead and paint base coat her and in the hands and everything else and then I'll attach the head for uh, and do all the shading and highlights. I've got some flesh tone color here. It's pretty dark. It's too dark and too orangey, but um, that's what I'm going to use for a base. And then we'll we'll either add or lighten it with this other lighter, more pink color. But actually, I used on the crocodile, and we're just going to repurpose that. And another color I used on the crocodile is this off-white that I can add and. Um, use that for, for highlights. Normally I'd wear a glove, I'm going to end up with paint all over myself, but... I'm out. I don't feel like going to the hardware store today, so... spraying this on thinly. You can see I'm just kind of moving around where letting one spot dry for a little bit before I go back. Normally I'd hit this with a hairdryer, but I'm gonna let that dry and let's paint the, the torso. Okay, I got a lighter color airbrushed on, I guess I got this base in the way. Basically, I was able to just hold onto the figure like this while airbrushing it. And that way, like I said, I can make sure that uh, color matches what you want it to look like. It's uh, been sewn on by Dr. Frankenstein or something. That's a whole different kit. Wanted to keep going with the base here. I've got some, some dull coat on it and let that set overnight. And I, I realized after going back at it with my airbrush a little bit and I tried to get some some of that kind of speckling around the, the teeth there. And I finally realized the only way I'm gonna get the the look I want is, is with the brush. We've got a dark kind of black brown uh, mixture going on here with some matte medium. I want to get um, these scales in here. I want to get that darker color in between the scales, wipe that off, and then I'll probably, you know, I'll just brush it all over the entire um, body, brush it off.
that's good. We're off to a good start.